All right, welcome to my personally picked best two box combo. As a 12 to 18 boxer, I get asked a lot which character should be in the group makeup. If I'm gonna play two, if I'm gonna play three, four, six, 12, whatever it may be, people wanna know what classes I would pick. Now, when we're talking about boxing and these combos, we are not talking about like duo or trio. We're not talking about actual players playing the classes because in those instances, you can get away with like Mage Wizard or Druid Wizard or all these different snare, kiting, fear type classes where if players are on both the characters and they're actively playing, uh, it's fairly easy to do. When you're two boxing or boxing, you have limited abilities to go back and forth and use the classes to their full utilization. So this video is for boxing. Now, not to say that they're not some of the best duos or trios in game, but I just wanted to clarify that point. So instead of going from like my personal worst to the best, uh, we're gonna just go ahead and hit you with the best that I think that I use. And that's going to be uh, the Shaman and Shadow Knight. Now these picks are for TLP, so we're thinking like classic era, Planes of Power, and as you progress through the game, other combos become viable, but when you first start out and you're in the early stages of the expansions, the Shaman SK is pretty much unbeatable. So when you're looking at boxing two characters or, or more characters, you gotta look at what happens when you know mobs run, you gotta look at healing, you gotta look at being able to slow mobs, you gotta be able to take damage, there's a lot of factors that come into play. So with the SK Shaman setup, you're able to snare flea mobs because the Shadow Knight has snare. You have sustained healing between the Shadow Knight's life taps and the torpor line from uh, and the torpor line from the shaman, and there's also some other heals too. He has. You have the best slow in the game, which means you're going to take less damage. Uh, the, sh the shadow knight has good damage mitigation because it's a tank. It's a plate class. We'll so have high AC. The shadow knight also has feign death, which means you can pull camps and split camps a lot more easily. You also get some of the best buffs for stats. You know, thinking avatar and all the different stat buffs that the shamans have, and the shaman does have haste, so that will make your Shadow Knight cause more damage. Uh, both the shaman and SK can add DPS via their pets, although they're kind of weak, and they both have dots. So you also get run speed buffs for traveling, and the Shadow Knight does have harm touch in case you get to emergency you need to blast on a mob quickly. You'll also have an easy time fighting a group, having a shaman and a tank, SK, easy to get into group you're pretty much like the core of almost any group besides maybe like a cleric if that's necessary depending on what you're farming so cons not so many i mean i could be really picky and go into things like hp buffs and all that other crap but we gotta remember that we're only playing two characters so we're not gonna have everything it's not gonna be possible to get everything in the game but the main things are there's no resurrection so if you do happen to die on your shadow knight you are pretty much screwed you're gonna have to run back you also don't have any crowd control besides the shaman have a root and you have some pets you can kind of throw them to buffer it out and of course you lack the big daddy heals so no complete heals no like bigger heals so you cannot get behind and damage you really got to get your slows on and get your, your sustainment up right away so that is my number one pick if i'm going to be dual boxing so my second pick is also with a shaman and monk and a lot of people actually prefer this over the sk although i do like having snare there's a lot of things that flee, which the monk is not going to be able to handle, especially early on. But the monk does have very good mitigation, and it does put out a lot more damage than the SK. So the pros are high damage output, still have the best slow in the game with the shaman. Uh, the monks can use mend to help heal. Monks have disciplines that help avoid and cause damage, which is really good in an emergency situation. The monk has naturally good damage mitigation. You're still going to be able to use the monk to feign death the split camps. The feign death on the monk is actually better than the SK's at the start because the SK has to cast. Uh, that changes later in the game when you start getting AA. You have, still have the decent buffs for haste and stats, so you're going to cause more damage with the monk, a lot more. You have run speed buffs for traveling, and it will still be easy to find a group because you have a shaman, which is the best slower in the game, really good buffer, and you have the monk, which is really good for DPS and pulling. The cons, obviously, no resurrection, no crowd control besides shaman root, no big daddy heals, you have no snare for fleeing mobs, which uh, that has got me in a lot of trouble in the past. And you also have no taunt for aggro control. Monks do not have taunt, if you didn't know that. So if anything starts beating on your shaman and you're having a hard time getting off with just your damage, you cannot taunt it and get it off immediately like you can on the SK. So that would put more damage into your shaman. 
which can turn out to be a really bad thing. And then moving on to number three, and again, we're thinking, you know, classic on the planes of power, early stages of a TLP, all this stuff kind of changes around and more things become viable. My third pick is uh, the Enchanter with Charm and Cleric for the really big daddy heals. So this one's kind of gimmicky and it does require more attention, but you have very, very high damage output with your Charm, Hasted Pet, Buffed Pet, and you will be able to heal this pet as well as heal your group with, with uh, the Cleric. You still have the ability to slow mobs. You have the best healer in the game. You have best crowd control game, so you got mesmerized and stuns in case something breaks. Best HP buffs in game, and you can root mobs in case the charm breaks. And I believe both the enchanter and the cleric have root. You can pacify mobs, help split camps, and I think that's both the characters, but I know the cleric for sure can pacify so that you can actually aggro mobs without aggroing the whole group of mobs. And you'll have a very easy time finding a group. You have an enchanter and a cleric, best healer, and you have best CC and a lot of good buffs. And you also have resurrection, so if something does happen to your enchanter and you can pop like a divine aura or divine barrier and run away with your cleric and zone out, you'll be able to come back and resurrect your enchanter it'll have you do a whole corpse run, so. Cons, you have no taunt. You have no run speed buffs. Now, when you're charming stuff, you really wanna be able to run faster than the mob you charm. So you better get some J boots or hopefully there's potions in the game. And this only works if you can charm a mob so if your charm's not working this is actually kind of useless you can't do anything you're not gonna sit there and direct damage stuff it's gonna it's gonna suck and if charm breaks it can easily wipe you because you remember your charm pet's gonna be hasted and buffed it's gonna come right at you and it's gonna beat the crap out of you pretty much so you kind of want to like put your pet on guard and keep away from it so that if it does break you got time to react and like I said it requires more focus than any tank and spake options so you're gonna have to pay more attention most people, when they play a Q, especially at my age, they kind of zone out, and that's where all the bad shit happens. So, those are my top three picks. Like I said, there are, and like I said, those are not duo. They're not trio. They're not. They're not the best if there's actual players. There's a lot of combinations that work if there's two players or three players in these in these setups. So it's not the best two players to have in the game or best duo. It's the best box combination, in my opinion. So if you have two players, obviously you can pretty much use anything, especially with the pet classes. You know, you've got the Necro, you can do some fear kiting. Beast Lords will be good. Bards can do a lot of, of kiting, especially early on in the game. Uh, AoE damage. So, I mean, literally almost anything will work if you've got two people playing. You can even take two wizards, spread them apart, and hit a mob back and forth so that the mob just keeps going back and forth. And you can even snare it, so it just sits in the middle of your two wizards. So, a lot of stuff can be done, but briefly, the SK in the number one spot is actually very vital. You, if you use a Paladin, you're going to suffer from you know low DPS and all you have is stun, so you don't have any snare, you don't have any feign death. You do get resurrection, but kind of that stuff's useless, and you're going to have a really slow time with the Paladin. You could use a Warrior, same thing. You're not going to have any snares. Um, warriors are Warriors are really good at taking a lot of damage, but shamans are not so good at healing a lot of damage, so you're going to lack that sustainment from the SK. So definitely SK works better. I think that if you don't want to do an SK or a monk that you might be able to do with a ranger can kind of tank it as snare and has different abilities and even do some heals. Might help sustain. So that is an option too. But for the most part, especially when we're talking like EverQuest Classic, the Planes of Power, a little bit beyond stuff. Some stuff changes around depending on the expansion and the area, but these are going to be the top three picks for two boxing. Not to be confused with duos where there's a player on each one. So, so if you have any comments, suggestions, feedback, or you wanna go ahead and tell me what your favorite duo is, or even your two box, or some other type of method that hasn't been mentioned here, go ahead and feel free to leave it below. And thanks for watching.